All right, and we're back. Cool. Cigarettes were had. Bathrooms were found. More whiskey was drank. Sandwiches are on the way. There's a dog who is making a lot of noise in the background. I hope that's not coming through too loud. Um, also, like I meant to do the last go around, I've switched everything over to English uh, because I know Jordan's gonna listen to this more than he's gonna watch it. And I don't wanna make him read subtitles all the time. You know, it's fine. The English voice acting's not bad as these things go. It's not as good, but like you can get through it. My favorite bit though, is you're gonna meet my boy uh, Gyobu later. I really like his intro in English. Um, I'll point that out when it shows up. But generally speaking, we should be good to go. We'll jump back into the game now. We're also pretty drunk. Um, this is a good amount of whiskey been, been drank. I don't know, was that like a pint? Like a pint of whiskey? Not, As he stares at the whiskey bottle. I don't remember. How, how big is a pint? I'm, I'm thinking of those, like, milk cartons you'd get, like, in elementary school. I'm pretty sure those were a pint. That wasn't all you. That's fair. I'll drink more. Um, <laughs> we're... Anyway, we're buzzing pretty good. Um, we'll see how that turns into game. I have a tendency to get quiet when I drink, though, so I'll try to make sure that my commentary is a little more continuous. Um... Mm. Fuck, that's beautiful scenery. All right. So, back here at our Sculptor's Idol. It, since this is the second episode, I guess I'll recap. We are on our way to get Kuro again. Uh, we know he's being kept in Ashina Castle. We've made our way partway through the Ashina outskirts, and we met our merchant thief friend. So, we'll make our way downtown, walking fast, faces pass. Yeah, so things to pick up. Obviously, they're pointing out that angry dude up there. Um, and that he does not like fire. So that's a thing you can utilize if you want. We're not going to because we don't fucking need it. We're way more confident than we ought to be. Um, also, Ashin is preparing for war. That's the secret little bit in the background, if you're paying attention. And our English is working, so we're going to murder these dudes. I think it's just the two. And then we're going to go fight that dude. See how it goes. Fuck a scrub! Also, the red eyes thing is important. Um, we weren't paying attention. It's not super important right now, but like a little bit later on. Another pellet. Oh, if you see that little green icon, you can actually grapple onto them, but it's a real short window. He also fights exclusively with pro wrestler moves, which I kind of dig. Don't get grabbed. He will fuck you up if you actually get grabbed. I guess something worth noting um, while we're here fighting this battle. So his posture meter's up in the top there. And his life meter's off to the left, right? So posture builds up kind of slow in this guy, comparatively. Um, an interesting mechanic is like posture. If you're not attacking or deflecting, 
uh, posture will go down over time for you and your enemies. Um, so for certain enemies, you want to work on health because if you look at the posture, I'll back up. If you look at the posture meter now, it's just a yellow bar on uh, like a black background. But as we do damage to its health, it'll uh, it'll turn red a little bit. And so what happens is, is you've got less health, your posture like refills more slowly. Oh no, we got caught. So your posture will refill more slowly. Oh, let's get out of here since I'm doing commentary. Um, when your health is damaged, so on certain enemies, now it's yellow, right? So his posture will be a little bit slower to refill. Oh, no! Okay, that was garbage. So your posture will be refill a little slower when your health is down. So on certain enemies, what you actually want to do is damage their health sufficiently to get their posture meter real slow and then work on posture. In this guy's case, it doesn't matter. We're basically going to health kill him the whole time. So it's a real slow battle. We got some sweet unseen aid. So we really just have to kill him in the normal way. We're not going to posture break this guy, generally speaking. Um, what just happened there? So when you die, you lose like health and experience normally. Right now it doesn't matter, but um, unseen aid is you always have a chance that you won't lose money and health, um, and it's based off of that dragon rot that we dealt with before. So like the more you die, like perma die, the more dragon rot goes, and the more your unseen aid goes down, which I believe we can see here. Yeah, so right now it's at 15% rather than 30. So if I were to heal the Dragon Rot, um, that would go back up to 30, which is just the chance that you don't lose money in health. Um, again, it's not a big deal on this playthrough. This is a new game plus. But uh, in most circumstances, that can become more important. Best advice, don't die. Right, we're going to try to do this and hope that without my commentary, <laughs> I don't embarrass myself again. Christ. Ekaro. Oh. Yeah, everybody drops like little bags of golden items and whatnot. Um, it's partially random. Um, I, uh, you have to hold X to actually gather that stuff. I'm just doing that passively in the background. But when you see gold fly towards me, that's what's going on. All right, let's go fight our Orger and see if we can do this without embarrassing ourselves. Oh no! Ah, yes. This is what I get for being cocky and turning off the charm. We're actually, so we've got all these items we can use. We're gonna use some divine confetti. Do a bit more damage.
Oh no! <gasps> I'm regretting putting on Kuro's charm. Uh, normally we can tank at least one of those. Right now it's just an insta kill, which is not ideal. Um, so apparently I have to play flawlessly. We'll see how that goes. We're gonna come up this way instead. Because the one guy is a more of a samurai, and he's harder to kill, so we're gonna stealth kill that guy instead. Ah, much simpler. Okay, so we're gonna pop our... You know what? Hold on. We may actually have to use some of this stuff. So I'm going to try these. So we're going to throw on one of our firecrackers instead so you can see how those actually work. Um, real quick, we're going to pop our divine confetti. And then we'll go to war. That's how it works. Poorly. It worked poorly. to get in a couple of hits. In this guy's case, it's time to steal. Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna die so many times! Ah! I should not have drank for this. of you watching at home the thing that's going wrong in this case is uh i'm dodging too early when the kanji hits and so i'm not actually escaping his grip i'm just moving slightly over before he smacks me um luckily we have all the divine confetti so let's give it one more shot one more shot like i'm gonna give up All right, one dude murdered. Divine confetti. Okay, the one health part down, <laughs> that went a little bit better. Throw some firecrackers, get our hits in. 
probably fight so many up, but I'm not going to. Getting cocky already. Murdered by this guy like eight times, and I'm already like. This is way more like a Dark Souls boss than a Sekiro boss. Because I'm mostly dodging. Oh no! Oh. We're gonna run. Pop a heal. Pop a divine confetti. Hope for the best. Oh, and die. Get frickin' murdered. Oh, this is so much harder when I just insta die like that. I hope y'all are enjoying this. I hope y'all wa enjoy watching me die over and over again. gonna we're gonna combine Akko sugar and to find confetti oh, to no avail Cool, cool. <laughs> ah, it's not ideal. We may end up taking off Kuro's charm. Maybe not. I don't know. Isn't the point of this game to die a lot? I think that's what we're supposed to do. Get good, scrub. I think that's what I'm supposed to try to do right now. Um, we'll persevere. It doesn't matter how many healing items we actually have. We're just getting insta killed, so. So, Akko Sugar, we don't have a lot of right now, because uh, on my last playthrough when I had to fight the final boss, I used a lot, it increases our attack power as does Divine Confetti. They will stack, so this one's shorter. So the hope is, if I play smart, I'll get some hits in um, with my Akko Sugar and Divine Confetti and have less opportunity to make terrible, terrible mistakes and not entirely embarrass myself through this battle. Oh, he already broke through. Oh, sometimes you fall off a ledge, you know? This is how that goes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, we'll pop another divine confetti. Man, don't drink in Sekiro, y'all. Come on. We're gonna go for speed. Ooh, I'm so good kicked in the face. Come on. Okay, well that's making me dizzy. Oh, you know what we may do? They mentioned, I said we weren't going to do it, but I'm going to change my tune a little bit. Um, so, these guys, because they have red eyes, it basically means they don't flinch, which is a huge annoyance. And uh, they do extra damage, but they're weak against fire. So, I think we have, we do, we have a bunch of oil. So, I'm going to throw this item on, and we're going to... This out for our flamethrower and actually show how that works a little bit and hopefully that's sufficient for me to be a little less embarrassing here. Um cool, 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 cool. So to do that you're just gonna use the wrong item. Hit him with oil. And then use the wrong item again. Fire! Yeah, he really doesn't like that. One of the cool things about fire is it, uh... It's a good way to build posture and vitality damage at the same time. Because they're constantly taking little bits of damage. So... We'll do it again. Flame him! And we'll come in to get our hits. We'll dodge that fucking attack. Oh, that was a waste of fire card. <laughs> oh. All right, we'll resurrect. Uh, and actually, we're just we're just gonna choose, we're gonna choose this one. Spirit emblems. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll just have to play this one straight. Oh! What did I get for? I'm so cocky. Cool. Well, that death deserves a drink. We're only like. 40% drunk right now. I feel like it's really helping our play. Uh, 
Okay, this is the one. I can feel it. Work out all the kinks, all the Sekiro kinks. That dude's fucking dead. We're gonna flip to this. We're gonna not flip to that. We're gonna pop our divine confetti first since it lasts a little longer. Paco sugar, get our oil ready, and just fucking rage! Like running tactic is not super effective on most enemies, but in this case it's really effective. Alright, first kill in. Oil. Oh no! And then, you know, you jump off the cliff, just to make it fair. And heal. Oh, Christ. The oil now. Fire you for fun. Get our heal in. It's going better, I think. Oh no! Okay, we got one death. It's fine. We still got one death. We're gonna flip over to our oil. No, we're not. We're gonna flip back. Sometimes you make three mistakes in a row, and it uh, ends your life. Man, I was doing so good that time. Never thought I had it. Cool, okay, so we'll flip to the flamethrower. Divine confetti. Hako sugar. We are burning through Hako sugar. Oil.
sweet kick, dude. Oh, I didn't think I could dodge that one. Oh, and I didn't dodge that one. Cool, we'll just spin that death early. Actually, this might give me a chance to show off another mechanic. So, I, you notice that our we have three resurrects, technically, but the one is missing. Um, if you get a kill, like a death blow kill, you get that back. So, if you watch this, that little thing will go away. Yeah, we have another resurrect, motherfucker. Divine confetti. First one down. Alright, alright. Let's play for real. Heal up. Pop a divine confetti. Fire. 
Oh, just the one? Fuck it. Oh, you gotta tell. Alright, so that took way longer than I expected. I honestly thought to get through that in one go. Uh, turns out I am, in fact, a fucking scrub. So, anyway, that's the Che Doger. Normally, he doesn't just one shot you like that, he just really messes you up. Um, he also normally drops a prayer bead. So, I think, is it in key items? These all the memories I've gathered. Yeah, so these are the prayer necklaces that you make with the prayer beads. Um, and they would increase your vitality. You get them mostly from mini bosses. Sometimes you'll find them in items. Um, anyway, you'd usually get this one after killing one of the seven spears. So that's when we'll actually read that. But fucking chained over nonsense. So here's the Nightjar Monocular. Um, I'm sorry, Jordan's probably not watching this. He's listening to it. A bamboo used to see distant objects, while shinobi already have good vision. Looking through this tube with one eye enables one to see even further. The Nightjar Ninja... <laughs> the Nightjar Ninja serve Ishin Ashina, guarding the rooftops of Ashina Castle. Their sharp eyes on the lookout for any would-be trespassers. Not much escapes the eye of the Nightjar. Basically, just lets you see further. It's a telescope. I've never once used it in this game. It may actually be very useful. I've never done it. Um, this is Divine Grass, a secret medicine that fully restores vitality and curses, cures all status abnormalities. One small part of Ashina is exceedingly old. The ancient soil, rocks, and water that pervade the land area are said to have attracted the attention of the gods. The doctor Dojin studied the plants at this ancient place, resulting in the recipe for the special medicine. So it's a healing item. I think you can only carry one at a time, like into battle. Um, all of that is really important. The fact that it's part of, it's from an old part of Ashina, Dojin, the doctor, that's key. Um, but from a technical standpoint, it's a extra healing item you can have in a pinch. Another ceramic shard. Oh Christ, are we already here? Right, if I remember right, there's a... Battle. Yeah, god dang it. We're gonna actually avoid this dude for now. I don't want to fight him with his buddies. I should have trusted my instincts on that one. Um. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's see if we can. Is this how we die? This is how we die. Cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christus. All right, we're just gonna let him walk away. So we're technically dead. Um. Uh, we're just gonna let that death happen. <laughs> All right, next go around. Next go around, we don't engage that dude in battle until we've killed his many, many friends. And then we'll fight him. He's not terrible as these things go. Um, he's just a sword user, so we're going to parry a lot. Uh, but if you get even like one other guy around can be real annoying. Um, oh, that's the other thing. Most enemies will reappear when you die. But if they're like a mini boss of some sort, then you're good. So, like, that Chained Ogre is just dead dead. When we kill this dude, he'll also be dead dead. So, this go around. We're going to be... Sneakier. You can get drops on mini-bosses and take care of one of their lifelines, but... It's not always easy.
Where is that? Yeah, this guy. These stupid guys. They're not actually dangerous in any way, but they will let everyone in the area know that you're around. And it's... Honestly, it's awful. It's, it's just the worst. It's very rude. I'm not a fan. Okay, let's go deal. some of the heat. I really did screw up this approach. So when you see those yellow arrows come up, it means people are looking for you, but they can't see you. And we're just going to hide because I don't want to handle all those suits. One dude forgot us, two dudes forgot us. That guy forgot us. And this is one more yellow arrow. Just get us soon. Oh, hey! General still knows me. Cool, so we're just gonna assassinate this guy. Oh, well. I was really not wanting to do the battle this way. Don't play Sekiro drunk. That's the... Uh, Ooh, that's the takeaway. Alright, we're gonna be a little bit more aggressive this go around. Nope. 
Items we're not gonna upgrade. <sighs> okay, general is there. Cool. I'm dead. Really just trying to kill this one dude. And we're gonna fight this guy with no resurrects. So it's really cool like that. Alright, alright, alright. For the hell of it. Divine confetti it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Let's do this. Do it, This dude's health down. We're bad at this game. And then we'll die. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a brief pause. <laughs> Cause I let myself get pretty drunk. I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna contemplate my life decisions. We're gonna return and murder this guy for real. No fucking up all the assassinations. None of this nonsense that I've been allowing to happen. This one's gonna go right. I have faith. So, <laughs> pausing the stream for now. Coming back a better ninja than we were.